following video contains a full on support build. This is another amazing build I've been using while streaming on Twitch. Please keep in mind, it can be hard to show a support build's true potential in gameplay. But I'll try. Viewer discretion is advised. Rogue status removed. I'm trying Limited. to get to them. I'm gonna run back the other way. Yeah, I know. I know. Have some bonus armor. Yeah, I just gave you bonus armor. Allied agent now rogue. Now detecting contaminated gear. for the moment, the other two. There's another one up on the left. We're going. Vanguard's nearly back. Rogue defender drone. Back and push in. Somebody clip it. Location going. Up behind. Oh, another one on the hole. I'm gonna armor feed. Oh, cover. That's what you do. Yeah, nice. Well played, well played. Another one behind. Bonus yeah, yeah. armor. Bonus armor. Yeah, there's another guy there that I can find him. That was alright. DZ Facts, brought to you by Plum. Well, the other dude already had, uh, had a mortar. That's traps. Bonus armor for you, just in case. Find man on the door. Track detected. Bonus armor,
to get back around the corner. Stay close. Ah, oh, it's, it's not even a problem. Summer, bro. Hello, m Plum here. G'day, champions. How's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Righto, champions. So, today's build I've been playing around with while streaming on Twitch. If you haven't popped over and followed me on Twitch yet, please do so. This build is a full-on support build that's suitable for both PvE and PvP content. This is how I've set it up and it works fantastic. This is the King of Tanks. 2 million armor, over 80k regen, and we can give our team up to 70% bonus armor in PvE and 45% in PvP. You can definitely tweak a couple of the attributes and get more hazard protection, but this is a nice setup for me. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers, and if you're new to the channel and enjoying the content, you know what to do. Pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. And make sure you engage with this video, a like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is going to help the channel and our amazing community grow. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials, including Twitch, Discord, Facebook, The Works. All the links for that stuff is in the description. Righto champions, with all that said and done and out of the way, let's get into the build. This is the King of Tanks, my galvanized vanguard build. No reds, six blues, no skill tiers. Two million armor, it's a big boy. We're rocking three pieces of Golan, one piece of Gila, one piece Bellstone, and one piece Mirakami. Again, this is how I've set it up. If you want to tweak some of the stuff, go for it. Use this build as a template. But please, whatever you do, make sure that the build works for you, your team, and the content you're trying to play. First up, we're going to be checking out the specialization, and I've opted for Survivalist. This has been my go-to when making support builds. We get that fire nade for crowd control, which is outstanding. The armor kit on this is crazy good as well. It heals our team members within 20 meters. And also our teammates are gonna deal 10% more damage to status affected targets. Anyone can apply these statuses, we're just unlocking this passive buff. Righto, for the guns, you're pretty much free to use what you like. I've gone with this maxed out M870 Express shoddy with Optimist. 
It's a really hard hitting gun even without any damage base attributes on the build. My secondary is a G36 with the talent perpetuation. What this means is we can hopefully get a headshot at range to increase our status effect duration by 50%. These are just small little things that if used correctly, dramatically increase the build's effectiveness in certain situations. But any weapons here you prefer, you could use. The main gun that's going to be in our hand 90% of the time is going to be the pistol and I've gone with the Liberty pistol. While it doesn't do a whole lot of damage off the rip, Liberty or Death can give us up to 60% more damage depending on our stacks. Headshots consume these stacks and will repair our shield for 3% per stack. I know some players use different pistols, but I feel the Liberty is much better value on this style of build. Righto, so let's get into the gear on the build. First up is the mask. It's the first of three pieces of Golan. So we get that 10% status effect, 1% regen, and 5% total armor. This is the dictionary definition of a god rolled item. This dropped with max armor, max armor regen, and max hazard protection. And I've simply added a max bleed resistance mod. Now don't forget you can tweak these mods to give you more resistance where needed. For the chest piece, it's a named Gilligard chest, the point man. The Gillibrand set is going to give us another 5% total armor. Max armor, max armor regen, and max hazard protection, and I've gone with a burn resistance mod. This piece is amazing for both PvE and PvP. The talent is perfect vanguard. Deploying a shield makes it invulnerable for 5 seconds and grants 50% of your armor as bonus armor to all your teammates for 20 seconds, and this has a 25 second cooldown. Now these figures are for PvE, and in PvP they do decrease. So we'll just toggle on our PvP stats, and here we go. The shield's now invulnerable for 2 seconds. Which doesn't seem like much, but with the tankiness of this build and the shield, it works really well. And it now grants 25% of your armor as bonus armor to your team for 20 seconds. As you all saw in that opening clip, I was able to proc this from a huge distance away from my team. The holster is the second piece of Golan, max armor, max armor regen, and max hazard protection. For the knee pads, I've gone with the named Mirakami knee pads, the Empress Guard. These are a DZ exclusive and can be a bit tricky to get. They do pop up in DZ vendors from time to time, so make sure you tune in every week to my vendor reset videos because they are literally the greatest on the interweb. The brand set bonus gives us skill duration. Now, it's my understanding that this does impact status effect as well. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. We have max armor, that 1% armor regen, and max hazard protection. Now for the gloves, I've gone with one piece of bellstone for another 1% regen. Max armor, max armor regen, and max status effect. Now you could have another roll of hazard protection here. I do like keeping my hazard protection a little bit under that immune number. That way I can cop a little bit of damage from status effects and use those armor kits for my team. Having a couple of rolls of status effect on the build does prolong our status duration a noticeable amount in both PvE and PvP. And finally, we've got the backpack and it's the third piece of Golan. We've got max armor, max hazard protection, and another status effect roll. And the mod on this one is a 10% burn resistance mod. Again, depending on what status effects you're facing at the time, you could definitely swap these mods around. The talent here is Galvanize. Applying Blind, Ensnare, Confuse, or Shock to an enemy grants 20% of your armor as bonus armor to allies within 20 meters of that enemy for 10 seconds. So if you proc Vanguard and Galvanize at the same time, that's 70% of our armor pool as bonus armor in PvE, which is over 1.4 million. And 45% in PvP, which is just a little shy of 1 million bonus armor. So, how are we procking all this bonus armor I hear you say? Well, as the talents read, we're going to be relying on our skills. That's right, this is technically a shield-reliant build, but in a good way. 
Any shield will proc Vanguard, but to be the king of tanks, you've got to go with that car door. It's a six skill tier shield because shields scale with core armor as well as skill tiers. This is going to help with our survivability and ensure that we don't get our head caved in with a headshot build. And for the second skill, I've gone with the Riot Foam. I feel this works best with this combination. We can ensnare for nearly three seconds, which is a huge advantage in PvP. And proccing perpetuation means this is going to last for nearly five seconds. Righto champions, fine print time, the stat sheet. Damage wise, not much happening at all. The big selling point of this build is in the defensive stats. There we go, over 2 million armor. It's a big boy. We've got just over that 80k regen, which is very nice. And our base hazard protection is at 60%. If you wanted to trade off those two status effect attributes, that would put you at 80% hazard protection. Our bleed is at 70% and our burn is basically at 80%. This means that we can still set ourselves on fire with our own fire nades to use those armor kits to heal our teammates. So yeah, champions, that's the build, the King of Tanks. This is an awesome support build for both PVE and PVP. A lot of bonus armor, a lot of survivability, and most of all, a lot of bloody fun. So what do you reckon? Are you gonna be a champion and have a crack at my King of Tanks build? What modifications would you make? Let me know down below. All the music on my channel is proudly brought to you by Artlist.io. They're not a paid sponsor, it's just a website that I'm a member of and their music is insanely good. It helps me and thousands of others create stunning videos with the best royalty free music and sound effects. Artlist.io And that's it for me on this one champs, drop a comment below about whatever. Any feedback, build questions, suggestions or ideas, you know I'm easy. Help yourself and the channel make sure that you've hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload new content. So did you like it? Then smash that like button and if you didn't you can press the dislike but remember to support me and the channel hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one champions, I'm Plum, Plum out.